It's 12.30 on Wednesday the 18th of July and I've just left Carnarvon heading south for a place called Aberfond campsite and I think it's at a place called Gairon Guru or something similar to that but it's a long walk it's going to be I've measured it out on my map a planner and it's uh, going to be 23 miles so it's going to be a big ask today which means I'm not going to get uh, back to the campsite for probably 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock tonight but the weather forecast uh, has predicted that it's going to brighten up it's a little bit dull and overcast at the moment it's not cold just one or two tiny spots of rain but I think that'll pass I hope it does actually because I didn't bring a waterproof but I've got to know this weather quite well now it seems to me that by the time the sort of early afternoon sun comes off it tends to burn off these clouds and there are signs of that happening there's no real wind at all actually there's just a little bit of a headwind now but uh, it's not too bad and uh, I had a good night's sleep after my, my daughter Sam called I was in bed I had another couple of calls from other people as well and uh, I woke up this morning about half past three and uh, did some editing so I couldn't sleep uh, finished that around about seven o'clock this morning and uh, went back to bed for a couple of hours and uh, I feel okay today I feel great I'm looking forward to this and uh, the campsite I'm staying on is really good very nice people the guy in the tent next door to me from Liverpool I've never heard such a strong Liverpool accent I, I couldn't understand half of what he was saying if I'm to be honest very nice bloke and his wife but they turned up with a, a great big television and one of these new tents where you um, you don't have tent poles you just blow it up now uh, with, a, with a pump absolutely fantastic very impressive so as I always say at this time here we go now I've just spotted some swans swimming in the sea so I'm gonna film that has just sent a message to me through my wrist that I've walked five miles and what that means is I've now completed 1,000 miles since the day I started this walk actually I know it's more than that but that's because I've walked a few extra miles on the odd occasion uh, but officially it's 1,000 miles and uh, I'm very pleased with myself I've got to say so I might get a few more beers in tonight and have my own little party like I do nearly every night really to be honest and uh, with me editing and all that kind of stuff but no I'm pleased with that I, I, I'm surprised actually that uh, with the amount of energy I've had and I'm still feeling really good and I'm still really determined 
and I'm enjoying it and uh, I'm getting everything out of this that I want to. I had my bad days, I've said that before, but it's mainly good days and uh, so I'm feeling great, feeling great. This is John and Gwen from Buxton in Derbyshire. Buxton in, in, in the Peak District. You've got plenty of nice walks around there, oh, John. Yes. All of them. Absolutely. I mean, my wife and I go in the peaks quite yeah. a lot. She's a climber, so oh, so yeah. usually Stanage oh, in that area. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's some nice walks, and there's yeah, a really yeah. nice campsite at Bamford oh, yeah. that we stay at. Yeah, yeah. So you can walk around. I can't remember the name of it now. There's uh, there's a big reservoir just. Oh yeah, Lady, Lady Bower. Bower. Lady Bower. That's yeah, the one. Yeah. Yes. So what are you doing in Wales then, John? Well, uh, basically we just really don't come that often. Uh, up that, uh, just we have some walks, nice some walks, break, nice short break. Yes. And we like walking, so that's that's about it really. The weather's not bad at all for it. It isn't. It's been it's been, it's been brilliant, fun, really. Yes. And you, Glenn, obviously you're you're an avid walker as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and I walk with you three a on a Wednesday with the group as well as walking with John. Yes. I'm really only getting back into walking now after 12 months because I broke my ankle on Brynham Rocks in um, Yorkshire, Yorkshire last oh, August. Yeah. So, uh, like it. Oh, that's it still isn't right. <laughs> isn't it really? No, no. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, yeah. I've got a friend, uh, Rosemary, who, who I met on the beach somewhere near Bridlington. Didn't know she was walking a dog, I was walking one way, she was walking the other, and she's done exactly the same. Yeah. And she's had the Easy pop job. taken off, but it's not healed until they've got to put it all on again, and mm, she's really yeah, frustrated. Yeah. That's why she likes watching these films yes, that on, on, yeah, on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're heading now for Carnarvon then, are you? Carnarvon, yeah. yes, that's right. Right, have you been there before? I have biked through there just a couple of times, yes. Yeah. On push bike. It's yeah. a lovely place. Lovely place. The, the, only, the, only, the only bad thing about it is, is if you want to get any photography in there, the, the castle's just surrounded by cars. People. So you can't get that's near it. Yeah. It's just like true. one big car park yeah. and it is really unsightly. Yeah. And it's it really does spoil it's a problem the place. all over that, I think. Yes, it is. Yeah. You can't you just can't get any decent no. shots without no. people walking past or cars driving past, you yeah. know. Anyway, it's been a pleasure meeting you. And you. And uh, I wish you every success in the future and wherever you're going. And, and you. uh, I know you may uh, finish up where you end up. Where you want well, to end up. it's a long it's a long walk. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm up for it, you know. Yeah. I, I, I I always have a really big breakfast yeah. in the morning and fill myself up with carbohydrate. Yeah, it's gin. And you can check me out now, and or if not, if you can't, your sons can. Yeah, all yeah, right, okay, yeah. Very nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Okay, uh, bye bye now. Okay. Thank you.
I've just arrived at a junction here, the A499, which tells me Carnarvon is six miles to my left and Pafwelli is 14 miles to my right. I've just checked my Fitbit, which says I've done 16 kilometres, which is 10 miles, which goes to show that it's, you know, the ins and outs and zooming around the country lanes and zigzagging everywhere around estuaries and stuff really does pile on the miles. The one good thing that came out of it was that I walked past the airfield and I stopped for a cup of tea and I bought a Cornish pasty which I've just devoured, absolutely beautiful. But I also met this girl called Michelle who was a, a firefighter working on a fire engine and uh, I'll just say hello Michelle and uh, I've just checked uh, my maps again and I've got about another 7k to go um, to reach I'm not I can never pronounce this Gaim uh, Goch I think it is I might be completely wrong but no it's doing all, I'm doing fine I'm full of energy um, I didn't start walking until around 12.30 so I've done pretty well really I'm walking really quickly today and I'm enjoying this even though it's similar to yesterday um, as for a coastal path walk I'm not really seeing much of the uh, the coastline at all I met some very nice people earlier as well who uh, the lady was from Hull actually and uh, had a nice long chat about Hull and Grimsby and one or two other things and um, so yeah it's going okay the weather turned okay in the end uh, the sun came out it's still a little bit cloudy but it's warm and I took a chance coming without any waterproofs this morning but um, that's paid off I'm traveling very light so I'm walking very quickly and uh, I'm gonna call in on the way back there's a an off license just before the uh, before I turn off down to the campsite get myself some tinnies for tonight and uh, do this edit <laughs> 